The next step now is to begin gluing. Okay, so before we do glue, check every part or every piece in your frame that you don't have any pencil marks or anything that you need to sand off. So if you do, so just check, okay, every face, every edge, you've sanded an arras on everything. This is where you're the quality control. So just check everything and make sure that you have set it out in front of you so that you know which joint is going to go where. Couple of items, also, actually also, before you do start to glue, make sure you have enough time to do this in the lesson. Don't start gluing till it's the back end of the lesson where you might have to rush and then do something incorrectly. Some of the items you're going to need, we'll have our PVA glue, have a rag, so I have run that through water, drenched it in water and then just ring, ring, ringed it out. Tape measure, checking for square, the tri-square, a steel rule. Our clamps that we're going to be using here, so this is our sash clamp. So we'll just be clamping that from the top seat to the rail. And then we just have our quick release clamp here that we'll be clamping across the two legs there. So let's start firstly by putting our tenons into our mortises. Get your PVA glue and try not to make too much of a mess. So a little bit of glue on either side. Try and be quick here, because you might end up getting a bit of a mess. And I'll just run some glue in there as well. And I'll just put some glue here and around both sides. And push that one in and we'll do the same on this side. Just put some glue inside my mortise as well. Don't skimp on the glue. Obviously don't waste it, but don't skimp because the PVA glue is the strength of this joint. Now that we've done Those ones, pop this in the vise. Grab your glue and into your bridle joint, just pour some glue and a little bit of glue on the inside of our seat rail. I might need to lift this out because I can see it's a little bit light on in the glue on this side so I'll add a little bit more glue Grab your rag and just wipe off your excess glue. We will have to do this again, but I'll just try to avoid as much mess as possible. Using your sash clamp, so just lay that down. I like to have the thread on the end of the bench, that way it's easier for me to clamp this up. So we're going to start with that one. Just make sure with your sash clamp, okay, that our back part of the clamp that slides back and forward there are holes on the spine of the clamp so work out the length roughly that you need and then pin that in place so just get this in here slide that up and I will go to the next one there and get that roughly in the center as close to the center as you can and don't over tighten this just yet okay just get it roughly in place. I will come and wipe off any excess glue here. My 
mortise and tenon joints fit quite well. They don't actually, they're not moving around too much, but you may find we do need to use our quick grips clamps. So place this, so with our, our clamp, this one, okay, it's just when you pull that trigger, okay, it just steps up and that's how it clamps to release. There's that trigger there and it slides either back or up. So get that roughly in place. And don't over tighten. Go do a couple of checks firstly, just a rough check of my square. Okay, that's pretty good. And so I'll check this side. That's square. You can also, when you're checking square, just measure from corner to corner. So if they match up, Now that I've got that square, I'll just gently tighten that up a little bit. And this one here as well. This is where we grab our rag. If you find that you can't get into, there are these corners in here and you're trying to get that glue, but you can't reach it. Grab your rag, wrap that around a steel rule and just pull it down like that and then you can easily get that into those corners there okay so cleaning that off it is an important thing to get your excess glue off now especially on the inside of the frame the glue once it's dry it is very difficult to sand it also impacts the way that you can apply your finish okay so it stops the paint or if you're putting an oil down it does impact the way that that is soaked into the grains of the timber so try and get all of your glue off really take your time when you do that but here okay Keep your area clean as well as not to get glue on your work. Once you're happy with that, you can then move on to uh, your opposite frame for that.